Hey guys, so in today's video, I am going to show you how to add um, animated sounds to an image. Let's get started. Okay, so to show you how to get the um, the animated sound into an actual image, you will first, well, first I'm gonna put this into present mode so that you can see exactly um, how the how it sounds. I did a previous video um, on linking the slides and, and within that slide I had this same particular slide that I used and the animation and I showed the animation and um, I had a lot of questions on how I did that. So in present mode, When you click on it, it will have the incorrect sound for the students to show that this choice was wrong. And then when you click on this ladybug, it is the correct um, one. So then it automatically takes you to the next slide that says, tells them that they, you know, it says terrific. So I am going to use this slide that I created. I will then go to zapsplat.com as you see I have it pulled up and if you don't have an account all you have to do is just create one it's free um, just create a login and once you do that you um, have access to all the free sounds and so I'm looking for incorrect so I would just type in incorrect um, for sounds and then all your choices says I have four to seven results for incorrect. And just for the sake of time, I'm going to go with the first one. I already have some um, saved as well. Um, but um, to show you how to do it, you click on MP3. Then it's going to generate a download link for you. You're going to download MP3. And then what I always do, um, because I just feel like it's easier, you may find a different way or have a different way. There are several different ways. But I always just drag my download to my desktop. And then I right click on it and I rename it. And I name it something that I will be able to find. So in this case, I'm going to do incorrect sound. And I'm going to put two behind it because I already created one previously. Okay, and then you will go to your, um, your Google Drive. And there, I just drag it to my Google Drive. I've already created a folder that says Sounds for Zapsplat so that I can kind of have my things organized. So then I would just drag it and add it to that folder. Okay, and so now it's there. You can click on it. You'll see the sounds that I have in there. Most of them are the incorrect one. Then I'm going to go back to my drop my slide. And from there, Sorry. From there, you go to Insert Audio, and you're going to click on your one of your sounds that you want. I have several in here, obviously, but um, I, this is the one that I just downloaded. So I'm going to hit Select, and then this little microphone type image is going to come up. What you're going to do at that point is you're going to right click on it, and you're going to go down to Replace Image. And then you're going to search the web, or if you have one from your computer, you can upload an image from your computer. So I'm going to search the web, and I'm going to search transparent ladybug, but then I'm going to add cartoon to the end of it because I want it to kind of look like my other one. And then I'm going to drag 
one of the images over. Okay, so it doesn't want to drag. Okay, there it is. And you just resize it. And then I kind of got off track when I drag it in. Okay, so then you just, um, like I said, you resize it. And now your image has that animation in it or that animated sound in it. So now when I click present and I click on it, it makes that sound. And that is how you add an animated sound to an image. I know a lot of us or a lot of times we add um, animated sounds to the actual slide itself. But in this case, we added an animated sound to an image. Thanks. Bye.